Oh, what a magnificent addition to the ME building. You know, it did cost a little more than the 528,000 paid for by the original, for the original ME building and all its additions. <laughs> <clears throat> but it was on time and under budget. <laughs> I think with everybody's help and work, it's exceeded all expectation and it was well worth the wait. I think it was uh, like nine years ago that uh, that's when the gift started and it was five years ago and we had the initial groundbreaking. So it seems like a long time and I think I even had a set of plans from the 1930s of the wing. <laughs> it's a little different than it is now and I don't think that wing would have been LEED certified. <clears throat> I mean, the, the Heveland Hall clock, the tracks on the floor, you can see them from the balcony if you look. They're, they're really cool. And all the student uh, work interaction areas along with the gold LEED certification truly make this a special place. As we dedicate this wing, I would uh, like to take this opportunity to thank Steve Baring, who originally approved the plans in 1999, uh, former Dean Dan Herleman, who worked tirelessly to bring the uh, ideas and needs of ME onto the drawing board and into reality. Dan apologizes for not being here tonight. He was chairing some sustainability conference out in California, but he truly wanted to be here. Uh, this was a really special project for him and he has a lot of his uh, spirit in that wing. A special thanks to you, Martin, for uh, uh, your campaign for Purdue and it uh, showed how, how generous all of the Purdue alumni really could be and how much pride and gratitude the Purdue community has in our great university as gifts flowed forward to create many wonderful facilities, named professorships, student sponsorships, and other needed equipment and unrestricted funds for the university. And I would thank France if she was not in Washington here personally, I guess I'll thank her at the dinner for moving Purdue forward with the Access and Success campaign that's in its fifth successful year of a seven-year program. It continues to draw much needed support from the alumni and unparalleled paralleled learning opportunities from top students from Indiana and across the nation. As our fight song says, to your call once more we rally. This space is a lasting tribute to these campaigns and to the uplifting Purdue attitude. Check out the Leeds kiosk, and on the wall there's a program that talks about Leeds, and see what construction and energy savings ideas were incorporated into the building to make the win, wing a gold, win, a gold award winner. Maybe the certification is also a good insurance policy against the building burning down in four days. <laughs> it has been known to happen. <clears throat> Maybe that's why France isn't here for the dedication. <clears throat> Until I was solicited for my gift, I never consciously thought about the significance of my Purdue education. Like many other Purdue grads, I just went about being busy using the things I had learned for my Purdue experience to become financially successful in my chosen area of business. My involvement with the university since that time brought into focus the incredible historic talents of our faculty and our administration to purposely produce a world-class education of limitlessly, limitless potential for our graduates. As you can see as you go through the ME building in the wing, the focused thinking that went into the start, the state-of-the-art facilities, the 41,000 square feet of assignable space, including applied optics, tissue engineering, nanoscale, prototyping labs, as well as research lab space to be used for future technologies yet to be discovered as it may dictate. Student commons, flexible collaborative classroom space and student learning centers also highlight the Purdue attitude towards giving our students the best educational experience for the money. As the needs of the workplace change for our students, the curriculum is adjusted to meet these needs. It's no surprise that the long-term value of a Purdue education is ranked as number seven in the most recent Smart Money Magazine payback survey. Even before the addition of the ME wing, a nationwide survey of corporate recruiters ranked Purdue fourth in the nation for preparing students for the workforce. This is in itself as a tribute to our excellence, but faculty 
and values teaching skills along with the incredible research and their ability to pass those skills on to our students. The faculty continues to improve the ability of MA to maintain its leadership in producing graduates that meet the needs of our employers and industries and provide skills to encourage innovation and entrepreneurship. Along with gardening a better appreciation for the workings Purdue, I have been absorbing a fantastic art education from my wonderful wife. As you can see from the portrait of me, uh, if you go over and dare look at it in the uh, Gatewood wing, she has the ability to transcend reality in her work. <laughs> Uh, the pocket protector was vetoed. <laughs> it, it also allowed me the opportunity to help remodel homes for my girls who are here, Liz, Kat, and Lindsay in San Francisco, Naples, and Boulder, Colorado. My specialty was demo and tile work with a little HVAC mixed in. <laughs> Lindsay's remodel was minor compared to the others, and I am probably off the hook for major work here since her new spouse, David, seems to be more talented in that area than I am. <laughs> Thank you for coming to Purdue, and it's hard to believe, but most of you, it's for the first time. Also, much to my delight, Jane's children are here representing New York and Iowa. Emily and Ben, our thanks to you for being here and making this day extra meaningful to your mom and I and to Purdue. I want to also thank my brother Art and his wife Betts and my sister Linda for coming. The only other time that they were there, uh, we went on a tour of campus in the Boilermaker Special in a drizzling rain. <laughs> when invited by the president's office to ride again in the homecoming parade, Art asked, should I bring my poncho? <laughs> it looks like we're going to luck out and we're going to have a beautiful night tonight. A big thank you to my sister-in-law, Nella, for coming, too. She and my older brother, Hal, did their best to suggest that I get an engineering degree from some university in Atlanta, <laughs> <coughs> whose colors are white and gold. <clears throat> uh, Hal was an industrial engineer at Ohio State when we lived in Columbus, Ohio. When I was in high school, Hal told me I should get an engineering degree, and I said, OK. So off to Purdue I went. Purdue ME was going to do in four years, which took Ohio State five years. So it was definitely my selection. <laughs> Thanks, Hal, for the great advice. <clears throat> in a meeting a couple of weeks ago, there was a discussion about how to frame the message Purdue will present in upcoming years to continue the increased support of the university's mission as government support continues to decline. There are various proposed messages, some of which could be said about other highly successful universities in our peer group. In my humble opinion, Purdue located where the Wabash spreads its waters provides a unique student experience. Many folks I hung around with when I was here, a few of which are here today, <coughs> not only spent <coughs> where the Wabash spreads its water, but we're literally on the waters of the Wabash, <laughs> testing various hydraulic and flow characteristics of different fluids, as well as a little chaos theory. <laughs> In thinking about this line from our fight song, I decided to look more closely at our song that 1950 graduate James Morrison wrote a 1912 graduate, Edward Watosa composed and copyrighted in 1913. Maybe they were on to something we all intrinsically know is the Purdue experience. Is it really unique to Purdue? After looking at 428 college and university fight songs, <laughs> only an engineer could do this. <laughs> <clears throat> I found that, yes, our song is unique and quintessently Purdue. The part about our friendship may she never lack is a good example. We celebrate the close relationship we develop here during our matriculation and the great, great Purdue network we continually, continually encounter as we pursue our chosen careers. There are only two other songs that mention anything about friendship in their fight songs, one of which talks about good fellowship with friends on the left and the right as they fight, fight, fight. <laughs> <clears throat> and, 
and another which mentions alma mater friend and referring to the school itself. Then there's the poetic location reference that fixes the university where the Wabash spreads its water. Here again, most of the other 427 other institutions are busy, busy fighting, stomping, crushing, smashing to victory. <laughs> to mention such an idyllic scene, now, the word fight does, is not even in our song. <laughs> Only four schools include lines about their location next to this or above that body of water. Well, for thoroughness purpose, I have to mention one other unofficial fight song he ran across. It does have the general locational reference of Rocky Top. <laughs> but while the folks on Rocky Top get their corn from a jar, <laughs> our grad Orville Redenbacher makes ours into popping corn. A significant difference, I think. <laughs> Yeah, the last thing I discovered on my research that could reflect the Purdue competitive spirit is this. B.T. Barnum donated the carcass of a giant pachyderm jumbo to his alma mater, and get this, after it was run over by a train. <laughs> I, I really don't know if our marching band had anything to do with this, but they did have the makings for a skin to cover one huge drum. <laughs> so my conclusion is that our great song, Hail Purdue, is not the only unique song in academy, but it does capture much of, much of the Purdue experience and fits in nicely with our spirit and personality as we continue to make our educational and leadership mark on the world for future generations. The LEED certified addition to the historic mechanical engineering building will likely, likewise contribute to our traditions and the Purdue experience in ways that we have yet to imagine. Thank you, John Purdue, Mr. Morrison's and Watowa, the state of Indiana, and all the folks that jointly created the Purdue experience over the last 142 years. I thank you all the many donors who preceded me or joined me in providing support for support for this magnificent research and learning environment. Thank you for all coming to this dedication. And to all the, fa the Purdue family, we say, enjoy your new facility and hail Purdue. <laughs>